More questions dodged in the case against Casey. Once again, Casey Anthony's parents were on national TV today on CBS's early show. But they still won't answer key questions about evidence in this case against their daughter. Channel 9's Kathy Bellich is live in Orange County. And Kathy, they did talk about suicide. That's right. George and Cindy both now say they came close to killing themselves, but they don't say that Casey ever contemplated suicide. They talked a lot about themselves and how they felt about Kaylee, but not about what happened to Kaylee and not about the evidence that implicates Casey. She grabbed my face and go, Cece, I love you. Aww. You know, I mean, that's just the type of child she was. The Anthony's say the loss has sent them close to suicide. I wrote suicide notes back in end of July and August. No one knows that. Central Florida victims advocates are outraged over their self-absorption and support for Kaylee's accused killer, their daughter, rather than justice for Kaylee. She called Casey a liar, a thief, and a cheat. But today, the Anthony's won't say whether they fault her. How can we? We don't know what she's been through. I don't know what that girl has been through. I mean, George and I are living the same nightmare. A reverse from what she told me last July. She has done something, okay? What do you think? She's holding back or whatever it is. I mean, otherwise Kaylee would be right here with us. So she has done something. So I forgive her for whatever that is. George told investigators Casey stole from Kaylee's piggy bank and that Kaylee showed no recognition of a nanny named Zanny. He told us in August he was following Kaylee's kidnappers. These people know that they're being watched. They know it. To this day, he's never told investigators. Now, George complained that no other case has gotten this much publicity. This was the Anthony's first network appearance since Kaylee's remains were found around the corner from their house. But before that, they've made dozens of network television appearances. Reporting live from the Orange County Courthouse, Kathy Bellich, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. And yet another person involved in the case against Casey is fighting her lawyer's request. Jose Baez wants a judge to order Amy Huizinga to turn over all of her cell phone and internet records. But her lawyer just filed the paperwork to fight that request. The attorney for meter reader Roy Cronk has already done that. And the lawyer for Deputy Richard Kane plans to do the same. Kane was fired for the way he handled tips in the case.